So I'm really excited about this. One of the most trusted brands in the toilet industry, Fluid Master. They make all of the fill valves. Majority of all of you that are just looking the back of your toilet, you're gonna to see a fill valve that's most likely made from Fluid Master. They just came out with their own bidet toilet seat. I'm really excited to show you how to install this thing. Yours is something that you're definitely not gonna to wanna to live without and it's definitely an awesome upgrade to your bathroom. So let me show you how to go about installing this and just show you how easy it really is. All right, so let's show you what's in the box. So everything comes with it, uh, except for the toilet itself. You have to purchase that separately. If you went with Kohler or American Standard, you're gonna have the Fluid Master parts already incorporated into it. So let's go open this up, show you what's in it. It's got the instruction manual. This is gonna be really important. Um, pretty much one of the biggest aspects about just adding a toilet seat like this is having a power supply Definitely check out my videos on installing uh, the outlets in either new construction or a retrofit. Definitely gonna help you out, but you have to have an electrical outlet to be able to supply this. So let's go through here. You have a little template here. This is used to be able to center your toilet seat easily. It's got all the hardware. So when you open this up, this is, it's really simple because it's just it's gonna attach to your existing toilet and it's gonna tee off for the water supply to the bidet toilet seat. It also has different adapters for different sized outlets. So if your uh, outlet for your supply line to your existing valve is not the same, you have the adapters for that. You also got the remote control. You can't, you can't use this without a remote control. This is really awesome. It has all the settings on there. We'll go through demonstrating how all of these work, but this is really cool. You'll be able to stick this right next to your vanity and, and have control over it. The mounting bracket, you've got your bolts to your toilet you're gonna to be installing, AAA batteries, everything in here ready to go. So then the actual bidet seat itself, if you were to buy a new toilet and you're gonna buy this, I would definitely recommend a elongated toilet. It's just gonna look better and sit more comfortably. So. There's the bidet toilet seat. We'll show you how to install this. This is the most important part of the whole system is having an electrical outlet that you can plug this into. So you're not gonna have to run out and get separate supply lines. So you have one attaches to the uh, T and then one that's gonna be attaching to the actual bidet. So you have, this is a really long one actually, 20 inches. I might actually reduce the size of this because I really don't need a 20 inch line with where my existing pipe is. But regardless, it, you have both of them in here so you'll be able to connect the toilet with everything you have there. That's really about it. Other than that, I'm just gonna show you how to install this. It's really simple to put together. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. This is definitely gonna be one great upgrade to your bathroom. So the first step is just to get the bracket. So this has a little rubber gasket on the bottom. So you face this up. And first off, we need to put these rubber grommets down inside of your holes here. Now they do have an alternative bolt system in case you don't have round holes like this. Most toilets are gonna have this, American Standard, Kohler, all the basic brands, but they do have a wing nut application that if you had smaller holes for any reason, you can attach that. So if you don't have room for these big grommets, you can just use the system that has the wing nuts on them. So either one will work but most new toilets are gonna to be able to handle these. And just dip these in water. That kind of lubricates it a little bit. And then you just slide them into place. Okay. These two little brackets here. So make sure that this is facing up so it has like a little groove. This is gonna allow the screw head to slide into and be flush. Before we move this around to where we need it, let's just get them kind of slightly screwed into place. This is where the template comes into place. So this is gonna help align this toilet correctly. So you wanna just move this up until it meets the edge of your rim. Kind of makes it easy because then you don't have to guess where the toilet seat has to be. And then you can just even adjust it left or right, back and forth until you have the right same reveal all the way around. 
Each toilet's going to be a little bit different, so this template definitely helps out. And then you can just tighten this down. So look, look down under here, see that the rubber gasket is completely compressed and your brackets in, in place. Let's take this little blue tape off. Okay, so this, this is where the bracket's going to slide into. So one thing to note here is that this little release button right here, this is going to move and allow you to disengage it off of the actual bracket. So this is going to slide onto here. Okay, so it just kind of clicks. So if you want to take it off, you just press the button. But you want to slide this on until you hear it click. So you can even see, see how that button moved there. So when you slide it on, it clicks right into place. Double check to see how everything fits here. And it is soft close too, which is cool. Now that we've got that established where it's sitting, now we can go ahead and flip down our connection point. So this has a little rubber grommet on it. And this is where we're gonna thread our 16 inch valve. So this, as long as this has this rubber grommet in there, you can just thread it directly onto here. And it's important not to over tighten this. So just do basically hand tight and maybe a half turn past that. If you over tighten it, you could squeeze this gasket a little too much and cause a problem. Now we have our water supply connected. Now we'll slide it back into place. Clicked into place. All right, and this, this is what really makes it easy is this little T valve. So again, this is just like a regular supply valve to your toilet. So this doesn't require any Teflon tape. You can just thread this on like any regular valve. So we'll hide this back underneath the here. And then again, go to hand tight and about a half turn or so past hand tight. You don't want to over tighten these grommets. And just make sure that this one's tightened. Now it does come with a 20 inch supply line. As you can see, that's like ridiculously tube long. I have another one that is just going to connect straight to here. So again, this has a little rubber grommet on it. So all I have to do is thread it on like a regular toilet supply. Turn on the water. Your fill valve should be checked and filling in. Make sure that there isn't any leaks. I can simply just plug this in. No. Yep. Okay, so everything's tested. Water's good. Very simple connection. I love the fact that these all have rubber grommets in them, just like the, all the regular connection points. So it really makes it easy to install and put on any type of faucet or any type of plumbing situation. Definitely pretty cool. Uh, it's got the light light on it. So you'll be able to see this reflecting. It's obviously pretty light in here, but that's pretty cool. So this is a sensor. So when you're actually sitting on here, first off, I have the, the heated seat already on. So you can adjust the temperature. So if you want it all the way up, there's a seat. You also have the dry uh, heat. You can turn that up as well. So when you use the actual dryer, so there's the warm air to dry thing, dry yourself. But this sensor is when you sit on it, that's what's gonna make it go. So if you just put your hand on it, you can test things. All right, and then we just press the auto button. So it's gonna release a little bit of water. There's the bidet toilet seat, or the bidet itself. 
Now you can increase the pressure to what you want. You can also adjust the, the position, bringing it back and forth. You immediately go to gentle, and then it'll release and go. So, and again, you can have your water temperature up too. So this will heat the water. So just trying that again, just go to auto, start it. And if you want to turn down the pressure, go ahead and turn down the pressure. Is the oscillating? There you go. And then again, back to drying. <laughs> very, very cool. This is definitely an awesome upgrade to the bathroom. So check it out, Fluid Masters. Let me know what you think. Really was a straightforward installation, but this is going to be something that the client's going to love for years to come.